so good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here we are. 30 days or one month of being completely 100% fruitarian. And, you know, this video is going to be about, um, you know, my evaluation for the last month and the pros, the cons, how good I feel. Um, and just talking about my experience because I've been making this very public, documenting my experience. And uh, it's, it's been, it's been wonderful for the most part. It's been very good. Um, I want to get into the, the pros, the good things that have come about from adopting this lifestyle. Obviously in the beginning, you know, you're all excited and you're all, um, enthusiastic about going on to fruit. And so for the first two weeks, um, it was seamless for me. It was very easy. And, um, but the first week obviously was the hardest because Hardest as in physically the hardest um, because my body was hard detoxing and coffee withdrawals, sugar withdrawals, um, salt withdrawals, not so much until the third week with the salt, but I'll get into that. Um, you know, just missing having that coffee every morning. I never thought I could ever <laughs> start my morning without a coffee. Well, you know, going cold turkey proved otherwise. And after about the fourth day is when I started to feel a tiny bit better because for, you know, for a few days, your body is just, it's, it's such a big change for your body. And then, you know, I had, you know, I was, going to the toilet a lot so you have a lot of bowel movements I'm trying to be polite on camera <laughs> I would probably word it otherwise um, you feel different you feel foggy in the head those first few days I had so much mucus dripping down my throat and it was constant it was as if I had smoked 50 cigarettes and it's the morning after of that and it was just constant, constant swallowing of mucus while I allowed my lymphatic system to drain, the congestion, the mucus, just everything to drain. And, you know, some days I felt better than others. Um, emotionally, you know, you're a little bit up and down. Um, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic anyway, but there were some days where I felt a lot more sluggish than others um it's just such an adjustment it's such an adjustment and um you know it's just that's all i can say it's such an adjustment in the first month and you have to be kind to yourself you know if this is just about weight loss then you know that would be kind of sad because there are so many other benefits to this way of life so after about the third week um I, I i have got this spider vein on the back of my leg i have a family of varicose veins but i had this spider vein in the back of my leg and i thought oh my goodness this looks so awful like this could be the beginning of varicose veins for me and it looked hideous and it made me feel 50, 100 years older than what I actually am. And um, I thought, right, you know, let's, let's put this diet, this lifestyle to the test. And on the third week, I took another after picture of this and lo and behold, the, the veins have gone back inside my leg and that splotchy spider vein has minimized in color. You can see the different, you can see here, I'm gonna show you here. Look at the coloring in the beginning. You know, you can see all those veins and it looks horrendous. And it looks like something well too um, early for someone my age to have. Um, but my grandmother had varicose veins. My dad has varicose veins. Um, it runs in that side of the family. 
So, um, you know, I, that's something I did not want to have, especially at 39 years old. And, and I could see what was happening and I just wanted to clamp down on that and call it, you know, a vain thing. Um, you know, like I don't want them. So, you know, I took a, you can see the after picture here. Look how good that looks. And that's three weeks of 100% fruit. And you can see the veins going back inside the skin now. My skin seems brighter and lighter. And you can see the coloring has disappeared, you know, significantly to what it was in the beginning. I'm hoping it will disappear completely as I keep going on this way. I haven't, I haven't had a look at the back of my leg for about a week or so, but you know, it's been the same diet, so it could only be looking better. But eventually, probably in another month, I'm gonna take another picture and we'll, you know, do another comparison. Um, also, what else have I noticed? My eyes, my God, my eyes have got so much brighter. In three weeks, I did, cause I'm huge into iridology or iridology. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up, you know, studying this on the side of my other study. Um, to become certified in iridology because I'm fascinated with it. Um, you can see from a month of, you know, I took a picture on the first few days of my eyes and you can see after a month of fruit, how brighter they've become. And obviously with iridology and what you can, there's, you know, they're basically a map to the internal mechanisms of your body and how or if your body is actually working correctly. So, um, you know, with your eyes though, that, that can take years and years to heal and to fix. And a lot of your eyes represent, your eyes represent, they're a window to your internal, um, in, you know, your internal flora and your internal anatomy and how well it is or how not well it is, unwell, I should say. So even in three weeks, four weeks, you can see the difference of my eyes. So um, that's another good thing. And you know what? There's so many good things. Having regular bowel movements, pretty much on the clock every day, um, you know, and it, you're, you're done in less than five minutes, not having to strain you know, or push or feel constipated because dairy, cooked foods, all causes constipation, total blockages of your, of your body. Um, so you have that freed up, your, your sleep becomes deeper, it becomes, you become more calm, um, you know, everything is just, you benefit so much from this way of life, like there is no downside to this physically at all this this is without a doubt a hundred percent the best diet on the planet for human beings um and i know that just from my own healing in this last month because tell me this if a cooked diet was so good for your body why have i got spider veins why did i have sharp pains you know in my insides why did i have lumps and bumps and you know, why do people have cancers and disease and, you know, hardcore things going on if a cooked diet is so good for you? Proof is in the pudding to me of, you know, when I took this picture, you know, on the third week of this spider vein to see it cleared like that in, in a matter of three weeks. How could this diet not be the most optimal diet for human beings? It without a doubt is. And that's just proof to me in my own. I mean, of course, I knew this before, but to actually see what's going on with my body now and seeing the indication representative of this diet, that it is the optimal diet, in three weeks of seeing this healing, it's unbelievable. And so without a shadow of doubt, all these, you know, um, concerns people have, oh, well, what about protein? What about calcium? What about your B12? you have got to trust in the way the body works. Um, we are naturally, you know, meant to be, you know, if, if we give our bodies the chance, we can absolutely regenerate and rejuvenate ourselves. 
and naturally the body is so powerful if we are so powerful enough to move to to have cognitive ability to create this body you know basically rejuvenating and regenerating and replicating cells we can absolutely heal heal ourselves of anything and i'm only in my first month of being a hundred percent completely fruitarian um and i've got you know this is a lifestyle for me this is this is forever this is forever and that's a huge and tall order and it's easy to say but how could it be any other way i know how good i feel on this diet why the hell would i go back to how i did before so on the third week i had a slip up it was my only slip up in the whole entire month and i had a cup a cup of cooked food, fried rice. Let me tell you how, how sick I felt. I felt so sick. Um, that night I had very disruptive sleep. I could feel that sludge just like what was most off putting when I was lying in bed was my pulse, my pulse, my, my, you, my circular circulatory system. I could feel my body working so hard as it had to work and push this shit out of my body. And, you know, not to mention all the, you know, thoughts of, God, why did I do this? This was so impulsive. This was so out of character, you know? It, you know, but then it just shows you, old habits die hard. And it was just so, just happened so unexpectedly. And I couldn't believe I did it after. Um, so not to mention the next day, my body purged, oh my gosh, you know, so hard the next day. Um, and, you know, I woke up in a fog, you know, it's just, ugh, to me, that was just proof in, in the pudding that um, eating cooked food is just, it, it's just so hard on your body and your body doesn't want it. It doesn't want it. And, and I'm not saying this diet is optimal for everybody. You do what's right for you and people will always do what they believe is right for them. And, um, but I truly inherently believe that humans were fr frugivores, um, where our teeth, it's obvious in our teeth, in our anatomy that we're not made for, for flesh. Um, if we were, we would have more, you know, canine type teeth. Um, but you know, everybody is going to decide what is personally right for them. But I know for me, this is optimal. There is no other way. This is optimal. Um, even, even though there have been some mental challenges in this third and fourth week, because I have felt some boredom come in and that is that's been probably the only downside to this um is the boredom i do not live in the tropics i live in south australia right now and although i'm very much looking forward to the summer because we have the most incredible homegrown stone fruit juicy figs are on the tree right now um i will say that i have felt some boredom because I really want some durian and I'm going to get some in a couple of weeks, <clears throat> but I really miss those beautiful tropical fruits, sugar cane juice, fresh sugar cane juice, mango steam, really, really delicious, delicious, juicy mangoes from far North Queensland. <laughs> Don't get me started. You know, sapote fruit, so many different fruits that I know are so easily accessible in the, in the North. Anyway, if that's been the only downside, it's been the boredom of um, just having bananas or, um, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm never bored of oranges, but I do get bored of melons. I'm not so fond of melons, rock melons, um, and bananas sometimes, but, um, you know, I don't dwell on it too much. And I found that through that boredom, it had triggered me to think about sushi because I am mad about sushi. <laughs> if there is any food that I'm going to miss more than anything, it's sushi. And if I can eventually work out how to make a raw version, I know there is raw nori sheets um, online 
I may have to buy some just for special occasions because I'm thinking about what am I going to eat for Christmas because I know my family is going to have the most traditional Christmas you know huge meat platters and cook food and all of that I'm I'm I've already told my my mother I said I'm not having any part of that um, so you know it's going to be a big beautiful salad for me my favorite salad which is avocado and tomato with cucumber and maybe a little bit of chili and lemon for dressing and I want to make a raw cheesecake if anyone has any amazing raw cheesecake ideas I know there's a lot online um, but this is the thing I've kind of stayed away from all the complicated food I've not had any nuts or seeds in this past month um, I do have some on hand if I've needed them but I know that I know how I feel after I eat nuts and I feel a bit seedy I feel a bit nutty not nutty but you know I feel I don't feel optimal like I do on fruit um, and I've actually saved the nuts for you know basically Christmas so I can make a um, you know cashew macadamia nut avocado cheesecake I know there's some recipes online for them I'm gonna see if I can find one so um, so yeah you know so this boredom has triggered the thought of sushi because I love sushi so much I don't miss any other food except for this food um, I don't even miss chocolate I don't miss um, I don't miss anything except for sushi <laughs> and I knew that was going to be the struggle for me I don't miss any sugar or sweet things it's just sushi it is literally just sushi and I'm gonna have to work out a way to make it myself I actually thought about a really cool recipe like making zucchini rice but dehydrating the zucchini a little bit after I've grated it or you know put it in the chopper to dehydrate it a little bit so it's not so juicy in the nori roll but anyway um, I'm gonna have to experiment with that and hopefully make a really nice raw version.